Yeah, hey there, Pedro and Cher. President Biden said that he would do this during his campaign and said today he's fulfilling that campaign promise. However, not everyone thinks the program he's proposing is such a great idea. Here's what my administration is going to do to provide more breathing room for people so they have less burdened by student debt. Wednesday, President Joe Biden announced tens of millions of people with student loan debt will have that debt canceled by the federal government. So who qualifies? First, your loan has to be held by the U.S. Department of Education. And if you're an individual, you have to make less than $125,000 a year or less than $250,000 a year for married couples or heads of households. If you meet those standards, then how much debt cancellation do you qualify for? It depends. If you received a Pell Grant for college, which are designated for low-income students, you qualify for up to $20,000 of debt cancellation. If you didn't receive a Pell Grant, you qualify for up to $10,000 of cancellation. 95% of the borrowers can benefit from these actions. That's 40 three million people. One of those people is 2020 Cal State San Bernardino graduate Kyle Lounsbury. Well, it definitely helped me get out of the debt and be able to hopefully excel in the business I want to start and run and uh, be able to afford, you know, starting a family. But not everyone's a fan. Republican Congressman Matt Rosendale tweeted, those who worked two to three jobs to pay their way through college and those who never attended college will soon be forced to pay off loans for those who accepted the financial responsibility of going into debt. I can see both sides, um, but I definitely a person in my shoes that does have the debt, I can't complain. So, Chip, what does this mean for the people who are, who were rather, allowed to pause their student loan repayments during the pandemic? Yeah, this was basically a combo proposal by the president. He said there was that program that came out during the pandemic where they allowed folks to pause their payments on their student loans without penalty. Well, that is going to be extended one last time. The president made a point to say this will be the last extension. They'll extend that program for folks until the end of this year. And then sometime before the end of this year, they'll come out with more detailed rules and instructions about how this program will work, this debt forgiveness program, and how people can go about taking advantage of it. So it's kind of basically a combo deal. They're going to extend that uh, payment pause program for a little bit while they figure this rest of this program out. But when that one goes in place, basically the pause forget the, the pause program where you've been able to pause your payments will stop so you're gonna have to start making your payments again if you have any left after this forgiveness after the first of the year and it's important to remember if you want full details on all this to see if you qualify if mm -hmm. you don't know if you possibly received the Pell Grant just go to KTLA.com we have a full list of instructions there but we